Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and feel free to connect with me. I feel like I'm on a lot of the main social media outlets and I just wanna be that area for you that you can unload and just talk about stuff and just be, feel connected and feel loved and feel reassured and so Part of that is what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I have notes right there. So if that's what I'm, I keep looking at. So the importance of community. Um, in the past couple of days have been very overwhelming for me. Um, not only emotionally and mentally due to a lot of what's going on with my family. Um, but just scheduling and time and trying to be a mentor and an influencer and also get mentored and be influenced and be inspired, be a mom, um, work full time. It's just, it's just a lot. Um, and so I just really have been depending on my community a lot and I think it's incredible and I think it's amazing that I have had people in my life who want to help and that are there to help. Um, but had I not taken these past couple of years to really solidify that, um, this time in my life would be a lot more of a crisis and a lot more lonely and a lot more overwhelming. And um, I really, really am passionate about community because I wasn't for so long and I was actually against it for so long. And um, I was a lone ranger. Like, I can do it on my own. I don't need anybody. I don't trust anybody. And like, as much as that was part true, it was really, really lonely and I was only growing so much. Um, and then ob the obvious things. So some of the things I have on my list are temptation, right? So it's a joke now that like every video I mention sex and it's true though. So um, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, whether you're just remaining abstinent for personal reasons or for faith reasons, if you decide to do something in regards to sex or um, changing your diet or even just like running a marathon if you don't have people in your circle who not only like can encourage you but are like doing the exact same thing you are they can only encourage you so far right so I brought up sex and the faith thing is like I have friends that don't remain abstinent and they can encourage me and be such a light to me because they know what I want um, but then there's sometimes when it's hard where they're like yeah I mean like it would be cheaper financially for you to move in with somebody. It would, um, I don't see why it's a big deal. It's 2018, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but then I have my friends who are remaining abs abstinent, abstinent and who are like, no, it's so worth it. I believe in you. You're doing this for a reason. Um, and you can do it. And just like it would be about weight loss, you know, like if someone is trying to be a bodybuilder, Certain people can only help them so far because they don't know. You know what I mean? They don't know what it's like. They don't know the training involved. It, like all of that. Um, and in that accountability and, and assistance comes to my second point, encouragement. Um, they kind of go hand in hand, right? So there's times where I feel like I'm just not hitting the mark and I just cannot measure up and I just can't. <sighs> just nothing I do is ever good enough and... Um, I can be really hard on myself and these people are like, okay, let me show you your blind spots. Let me show you where you have had victory. Let me show you where you are overcoming and where you are being influential and kind and awesome and all these things that your mind is trying to tell you otherwise. Um, but then on the other side of that, they can encourage me to be a better mom, a better woman and give me wisdom because they see my blind spots. There's some times where I can go off doing a whole bunch of things and it's not until someone says, hey, Tanya, that really wasn't that awesome, that I realized it was actually not that awesome. You know what I mean? So community is just so good for so many reasons. It helps us see that we're loved, we're <laughs> redeemed, we're forgiven, we're chosen, um, we're worth it, you know? And these are people who can call us to a higher standard but then also remind us that we have already met that standard and we are good enough and we are doing such a good job. Um, but if you don't let people in your life, uh, it's a really lonely place to be, right? Um, but then the second thing I want to talk about 
in community and kind of where I am finding a lot of awkwardness now is boundaries in community. Um, I'm meeting with a girl who just keeps putting me down for things and then not really telling me about them until the day of or her expectations of me are just not very fair. Like meeting from four to nine when I get out of work at 3.30, I have to go pick up my child, cook dinner, do dishes and laundry and then get him ready for bed and school the next day. I can't stay out till 9.30. It's just not feasible for me. But the expectation and is that I will. Um, so <laughs> that's a boundary issue, right? And I'm a true believer. We teach people how to treat us. And so I allowed that for a while. And so she genuinely thinks that's okay. And so we've had to have some awkward conversations and um, redefine some things. And we're getting there. Um, but it needs to be a boundary. And I'm just going to list the things that I that I put because I feel like they kind of all intertwine. I put intentional with my time, have balance, take care of myself and Judah, have boundaries, and be selfish. And I know that sounds so weird, um, but in recovery, if you've been in any kind of sober movement of any kind, healthy selfishness is a necessity, not an option. Um, and there's times where... Yesterday being a prime example, I was trying to do way too many things for way too many people and I was overwhelmed, I was bratty, I even put something on my Instagram that I was like, just not doing super hot and what I should have done is been selfish and said, I'm sorry everybody, I have to cancel today, I just need to go home and take a day, you know, take a minute uh, to just be and I didn't, um, but that's healthy selfishness within reason obviously, you know, if you have made commitments and a lot of like there's a dependence and there's stuff that you can do about it sure but then there's times where it's okay to say no and it's okay to be selfish with your time right and um I don't know like I don't know if I'm making any sense because until I watch these back I feel like I'm just sort of rambling but in my head it makes sense um and I think that's what I mean when I say intentional with my time, like intentional with my thoughts, intentional with my recovery, like I have to be like, okay, like this is my Judah time. This is my Jesus time. This is my this time. This is my this time. And I have to, I have to prioritize and I have to be intentional with that and um, have the lines not be as blurred as they are where I just kind of flow from one thing to the next to the next. And um, I challenge you guys to do the same. Um, if you're like me and you're chronically late, it's really disrespectful and I'm like super embarrassed about it. Um, but yeah, so again, I really hope this made sense. <laughs> um, importance of community, boundaries in community and intentionality. Uh, so yeah, so guys, I, I really am praying for you. Be praying for us. I'm baptizing my parents tonight. That is such a redemptive story in and of itself. I'll let them share their testimony and um, their perspective of everything. But uh, let me know what you guys want to hear me talk about, if anything. Let me know if there's a way that um, I could I could put the point across better that would make sense. Or um, just let me know if you're doing okay. Uh, really connect with me. Um, sometimes it's really hard and I feel like I'm just <laughs> talking to a camera and putting it on the internet because I, that's what I'm doing, <laughs> but it's not until someone, uh, will come up to me and be like, yeah, I saw your video. Thank you so much. Um, it really means a lot. And I've said this before. It's not about the views. It's not about the influence. It's not about looking cooler than numbers and saying like, God, like, am I doing what it is that you called me to do? And in my humanity, I would like to just see some vision I guess of being on the right path so if you guys could do that for me that would be great if not I still love you I'm still gonna be putting out videos and maybe it'll annoy you maybe it'll inspire you but hit the subscribe button down below